On Rachel Maddow's show on Wednesday evening, she played tapes of Devin Nunes, one of the biggest Trump supporters in the U.S. House of Representatives, uh, at a fundraiser from July 30th, where he kind of laid out his plan for obstruction of justice in order to protect Donald Trump. He also admitted that what Donald Trump did was absolutely a crime. Um, now, before we get into the clip in just a moment, uh, it should be pointed out that this clip was obtained at a fundraiser, uh, obtained by a group called Fuse Washington. They were a, a liberal group. They paid for entrance in there, secretly recorded it. It was July 30th in Spokane, Washington. Here's what Devin Nunes had to say. Now, if somebody thinks that, that my campaign, the county's campaign is colluding with the Chinese or you name the country, it could happen. It would be a very bad thing if Kathy was getting secrets from the Portuguese, let's say. Just because I'm Portuguese, but bad guy. So Kathy was getting secret information from the Portuguese. You know, well, you know, may or may not be able to but ultimately, if that said the Portuguese came and brought her some stolen email, she decided to release those. Okay, now we have a crime, right? If somebody stole the email, they will have to release it. Well, if that's the case, then that's criminal. But also, it, on, on the things that came up in the, in the house on the Rosen scheme, the impeachment thing, uh-huh. and it appears from an outsider that the Republicans were not. Yeah, well, it's. <laughs> So it's a bit complicated, right? And it's and I say that because you have to. So so we only have so many months left, right? So if we actually vote to impeach, okay, what that does that triggers the Senate that has to take it up. Well, and you have to decide what you want right now because the Senate only has so much time. Do you want them to drop everything and not confirm the Supreme Court justice, the new Supreme Court justice? So that's part of why, I don't think you have, you're, you're not getting from, like I've said publicly, Rosenstein deserves to be impeached. I mean, so and I don't think you're going to get any argument from most of our colleagues. The question is the timing of it right before the election. Yeah, That's the, the Senate, so the Senate has to start. The Senate would have to start, the Senate would have to drop everything they're doing and start to, start with impeachment on Rosenstein. And then you take the risk of not getting not getting Kavanaugh uh, in <coughs> So it's a, it's not a matter of the tape of slight process time. It's a matter of, it's a matter of time. So there in lies, so it's like your classic catch-22 situation where, I mean, we're at a, this is what, what puts us in such a tough spot. If Sessions won't unrecuse and Mueller won't clear the president, we're the only one. Which is really the danger. That's why I keep, and thank you for saying it, by the way. I mean, we have to keep all these things. We have to keep the majority. If we do not keep the majority, all of this goes away. Okay, super long clip there, I understand. So I'm gonna try to make this as brief as possible. First and foremost, Nunes admitted that if you received emails that were stolen by a foreign country and you then release them, then yes, you've committed a crime. If you were involved in any step of that process, that is criminal activity, according to Devin Nunes. And we do know for a fact that that did happen with the Donald Trump campaign. So Nunes right there admitted that his favorite guy, the guy he's bent the law for pretty much by trying to keep him one step ahead of the, the Senate and the House investigations and the Mueller investigation, admitted that his guy committed a crime. But more importantly, this stuff about impeaching Rosenstein and getting Sessions to unrecuse himself and stopping this Robert Mueller investigation. Those right there are very clear admissions that Nunez's intent is to obstruct justice in order to protect Donald Trump. We have a motive. We have a plan. We have enough to bring charges against Devin Nunez at this point. Now we do have some uh, progressive liberal Democrat, whatever you want to call them, members of the House of Representatives who today, and even after the clip aired, have been calling for Devin Nunes to resign. Resignation's not good enough. This man needs to be led away in handcuffs, making him the second Republican of the week 
to be led away in handcuffs. But that's what needs to happen. This is very clearly obstruction of justice. We know that it is Nunez on the tape. We see what he admitted there. We can hear it. We know what happened. There's plenty of witnesses there. This is a slam dunk case right now. Prosecutors should be working at this very moment to take Devin Nunez out of the game, out of politics, out of our daily conversations, because what he admitted on that tape is 100% obstruction of justice.